It's all quiet on the Nottingham front. More troubles coming up fast. Currently, uh, travelling to Mansfield from the city uh, in relation to uh, this lad who's wanted. Rob Ely and Spencer Pugh are after a potentially dangerous man. The young lad wanted in relation to uh, an assault in Mansfield uh, yesterday afternoon where he's stabbed uh, another male in the back. Uh, the young lad's also got markers for previously carrying knives. Given his history, they want backup. Yeah, another double food unit from somewhere would be appreciated just so we can uh, get it front and back properly. Jen and police dog Quantum are in the area. But are they up for a party? Do you want to come to Mansfield for a wanted mail? <laughs> Cheers. Mansfield, here we come. She's in convoy with us en route. Local units are already on scene, but suddenly... There's somebody here, they've got somebody armed with a knife on a different job. Oscar Fox got 5-8 from O&H, ready? Is that a separate incident with somebody with a knife? Yes, sir. Yes, Steve, we can divert, however, we're going to another grade one where there's a wanted male for a, a stabbing from yesterday. A fresh incident and far more urgent. He's uh, armed and he's now locked himself inside the area. Yeah, let's go for into this. Yeah, 5-8, we'll divert to you. All change. Jen, if you got ears on, we're just uh, heading to one of the dogs so with the uh, five of speed. Initial reports don't sound good. There's been a domestic incident. The victim seems to have fled out of a, uh, a window. Uh, the offender's still inside the address. He's armed himself with a knife. We're just over there as a taser resource to try and uh, see if we've got some assistance. Whilst he's still got the co boxer with us as well uh, for any flight contingency. The only thing flying right now is the X5. And switches down at the address to news that ups the ante. So we've just had an update um, from Officer on scene. It's actually a machete this person's got access to, so we're going to have to put this back to our control room to assess it for potentially a firearms authority. Rob and Spence need to weigh up the scene. Where's it for about the machete? Uh, the front partner who's inside the address. Yeah. It seems the suspect slashed his partner's hand. She's en route to hospital. He's still inside. And he's trying to hide what I'm trying to there is a crumb of good news, but it's a pretty meagre one. I'm relatively satisfied this is not a machete. Uh, I've got it's actually for a Rambo knife, uh, as is the deed sheath that's in the rear garden. Uh, the blade would be around 12 inches long, sorry. The suspect, who they believe has a mere 12 inch blade, is at a front window slurring aggressively. <laughs> It would certainly be of assistance if put out access to the back and gun. Worried the man might be a danger to himself, Rob wants authority to use less lethal baton guns that would stop him in his tracks. You're gonna blow me apart? Yeah. 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 What with? Meanwhile, Spencer cops the verbals. Have you got any weapons in there? Yeah. What have you got? <laughs> yeah, I can't hear you very well, mate. Do you want to come to the window? <laughs> Sorry? Understood, sir. Thank you. Bang on authority. <laughs> oh, mate, you've done nothing wrong, mate. You'll be, you'll be all right from the front door then, won't you? Just get back to the central and gates container because you're giving it authority. Thank you. Armed with bats on guns, Rob leaves Spence out front and contains the rear. Is anything around there? Stand on. Trampoline, eh? I'm not using a trampoline. <laughs> what for? Eh? See if I can see through this window. One bounce and he'd be up there. Come to this open window in, a window in the middle. See what he's doing. But the suspect now distracted at the back. Show me both your hands, please. Spencer peeks inside the front. Rob. 
This is a bathroom, I can't see any weapons in here. You see, mate? Just lock up, alright? While well, interceptor Phil Broughton leads negotiations. Just come to this window and have a chat. Who's this? Yeah, come on, who's this? There's nobody here apart from me. Right. What's the problem, mate? I promise you don't be talking to me. Now come to this open window and we'll have a chat. The man's made it to the window, but he sounds drunk and looks worse for wear. To H and to Oscar One, uh, officers are engaging with the uh, subject, appears to have some minor facial injury. They're keen to get the suspect medical attention. Just get back inside, but don't, don't climb out. It's not uh, Yeah, he's got a nasty awake. But he's leaning dangerously out of the window. He's falling off now, so better watch out for that. Just be very careful, but don't injure yourself. Just climb back in. No, just check and make sure you're alright. Watch out, he's going to fall. Boom. Force the light off. You're going to blow me apart. Yeah. Interceptors are dealing with a man who allegedly slashed his partner with a knife. One more time. To negotiate through an upstairs window. Here you go. I'm taking a sickening turn. And boom. Fell out the window. He's bounced off the table and hit a concrete patio. He's got a knife in the back of his waistband. Be careful, mate. You're rolling to me. With the knife out of the picture, it's not there anymore. It's, it's no longer an armed incident, but now an urgent medical one. It's suspected ceasefire now, aren't we? Talk to me, bud. Talk to me, mate. Get out our truck. Fortunately, firearms officers are advanced first aiders with specialist medical equipment, which might just save his life. Dude, hey, chill out, mate. Talk to me. Okay, but he's not got book tape, okay, I'll score, but he's not got the now, I can get an ambulance. Somebody might have to take off me, so we can do an emergency search at the front. They've no idea if anyone else or any other weapons are inside. Got it, mate. Sweet. So while the suspect gets medical attention, Jim goes to town with a big red key. Yeah, put well, some verbal challenges in. Please, officers, we've got to the door, please. Come to the door. We're going to be back over the back door. That would be enough. We're winning now, mate, are we? Oh, on, That's it, Jim. Another one, mate. Do a swap. No, we're on that one, look. I think you're top, mate. Please, please, That's it. I've got the stairs. Okay. My blood from you. Yeah, move in. Police officer, the taser, make yourself known. Police officer, the taser, show yourselves. Corridor, mate. Stage by stage, searching. They secure the house. Sweet last one. Room's clear out. Establishing that it's now empty. Chief Inspector with the uh, clear the address. And locating the knife allegedly used in the earlier assault. Okay, the stamp out because there's a knife on the floor. While the man alleged to have used it is flat out in the back garden. Where progress is being made slowly. Oh. We're just cutting your top off. It's just so we can expose your chest. All right. We're going to check for any other injuries. Ambulance is coming. We're all going to be okay. Yeah. He's not making it easier by trying to bite. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. You're not moving. You're not moving, yeah. mate. Relax. Relax. Don't, don't. We're here to help. Okay, so relax. Interceptors have kept him stable and the cavalry is here. He's a bit bitey. He's obviously intoxicated. He's agitated and he's, he's trying to resist all the help from the ambulance. Uh, we understand that it is that they are going to be administering some drugs to try and help calm him down, uh, relax him a bit and, and get the help that he needs. Which is easier said than done. Calm yourself down, there's people looking after you. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Now he's threatening to spit. Yeah, you're right mass spitting, you get a mask put on your face. Oh, come on, mate. Yeah? Despite his antics, cops and paramedics soldier on. Okay, so he came out that window. Backwards. Came out back, right. Yeah, so he sat, bump, 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 in, in the windowsill, yeah. feet in, yeah. and then just gone backwards. Okay. Finally, medication calms him down. 
Okay, we've got about 50 seconds. We could go a little bit faster. And he's away to hospital for treatment in a stable condition. We're all trained to a high level of advanced first aid. We carry an advanced first aid kit to deal with scenarios a bit better than um, some of our other colleagues. And that advanced training of firearms officers may have saved his life. The suspect who fell from an upstairs window made a full recovery from his injuries. He was convicted of ABH and possession of a bladed article and got 18 months behind bars. The knife was destroyed. That's it.